Okay, I went... Last time I got a uh, crash on the first level because I forgot to delete all of the uh, character introduction levels in Megalex 2. But now we're back on track. So, uh, next character is Klonoa, first character that I haven't played as before at all. And I don't know anything about Klonoa, but the alternate costume is Yoshi, and everyone knows Yoshi, so I kind of have an idea of what he or she is going to be about. I honestly don't know anything about Klonoa at all. I don't even know which console or what. So, let's just dive right in. I believe that's Super or Lowly, and uh, yeah, this makes me choose between Mario and Peach, so that's not going to happen. Okay, this is that, uh, whoa. That doesn't seem right. I'm not sure what's up with the piranha plants, but... Ugh. Dang it, I was able to make it up on the ledge, but I was too slow to take out the Goomba. And if I had have tried to attack it, I might have just gotten hit anyway. By falling back into the lava. So, Klonoa, like Bowser, doesn't run. So yeah, I have no idea why all the coins are piranha plant heads in this level, but... It certainly wasn't like that the last time I played through, so... So, yeah, I can pick up enemies and throw them, that's pretty cool. I think that fits very nicely into Smubex, in terms of not being too weird with the other characters, except she can hold the fire, that's a little weird. Pretty sure that's dangerous, but... Yes, yeah, so that's, that's a pretty useful skill to have. Oh, and she can do some sort of uh, double jump. I'm just gonna assume she's a she right now, because... I'm not really sure. So I can, as long as I'm holding something, I can get a huge height boost, which is, might get me past some otherwise unwinnable situations elsewhere. I probably should have, uh, you know, tried to get a power up or something. Oh, shoot. For some reason I thought I'd be able to make that, but I wasn't. Klonoa does a much better job at flying horizontally than she does flying vertically. Vertically, I, like Yoshi, I barely get any height, but horizontally, I get a huge amount of distance. Okay, actual HP. That would have been useful last time if I wasn't being an idiot. Didn't I actually collect that last time? Maybe I got hit by something dumb around here. Wasn't that guy, that's for sure. I could even kill a Kotobu fairly easily. That. Nope, there actually isn't anything in there after all. Whoa. Well, that was an unorthodox way of going about that, but it worked apparently, so I'm not going to complain. So it only goes a certain distance, or maybe only hits a certain number of enemies before it uh, gets broken. Yoink. Still holding fire. You can die. Yeah, playing as Klonoa is super fun, I think. Let's see how the ice flower works, or what it even does. Okay, so now it's an ice cube. And it just kind of flies over there. What happens if I throw it downward? It doesn't go... Okay, so that's neat. I can basically throw a platform underneath myself like this. That could be super useful in a lot of places. <laughs> and I can reuse this as well. Unlike the, uh... Unlike the normal thrown enemy, so... Yeah, ice power-up seems super useful. Oops. For some reason I was expecting to glide up and then throw it, even though that completely contradicts all the behavior so far. And... That... What happens if I grab the ice now? Does it react? No! Ah, I didn't see that guy. So it reacts the same way, as long as I... As, as long as it was frozen to begin with kill that Potobo so he's not interfering with my face. Dang it. I kind of gli glided too far to begin with and then overcompensated. Panic and whatnot. Well, not gonna fly over that gap. <laughs> so with Klonoa it seems that once I start flying I'm gonna be flying for the normal duration. I can't like hold it for just a bit less so I gotta be careful with that. And you're nothing interesting now because... 
have a mushroom to start with. I can die. I can even grab the photo poo. In case holding the other type of fire wasn't already dangerous enough. Point. Now I'll try to do a better job of seeing what Goombas in the fog down there because, yeah, I don't think there are any right now, but there's no power from there, really. Okay, better do a better job this time. Point. See, that's not that hard. It's just a single fire enemy. I'm not sure why that held me up for even a second, but... It is like 11 o'clock at night, so that probably has something to do with it. Whoa, I can have this guy spew hammers! Uh, it just like... That's pretty powerful, actually, because... Like, normally you can only get that power with other characters if you have a plant that spawns a hammer brother. But with Klonoa, it's like, yeah, Hammer Brothers at the ears if you want them. Okay. I figured as much. I didn't think I'd be able to grab a Thwomp, but I can grab a Boo, which is pretty nice. Dang it. I shouldn't have messed that up. Oh, that's not going to be... Hopefully I can get enough height with this one remaining Boo that I have. Dang it, I messed up again and threw it. Yeah, because I don't think I can make that. Even if I time it perfectly. And I can't spin jump, so... Yeah, I don't see what I'm going to be able to do to get past this without another enemy. Oh! Well, there is another enemy, so maybe that'll help at least. If I can somehow get him to the top of... Ah, you douchebag. <laughs> Stupid friendly enemy. Well, now I'm pretty sure I have to jump down the hole. Goodbye, world. But I still think it's possible to get through the level, so I'm not going to ditch it just yet and re-roll. Even though I am kind of running out of lives because I've been messing up a lot. Oh yeah, don't need to worry about that Sniffit, because he's friendly. I already figured that out, so... Okay, you have to actually throw it. You can't use it as a shield like other characters can. So let's see if I can not mess this up this time and make it to that other platform. I've only got one shot though, unfortunately. Made it. Okay. Let's not mess this up, hopefully. Dang it. Almost messing this up. Oh no, you <laughs> jerk. So let's... I don't know if I can get the booze up there. Okay, that's the end. Thank goodness, because... Whoa! Ah, oh, crud. I wasn't expecting to get squashed there. This level works a lot better with Mario. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Dang it, I missed. I can also glide after that, though, so I can see just a bit of extra height more. Okay, so making, that up, making it up there is a little bit easier when I can also glide. You get over here. Oh, I'm slowly moving that thwomp over somewhere else. Not that that helps me any, but... Okay. Ugh, unfortunately this does not work nicely. Because those swamps are pretty messed up up there. Good thing you're friendly. Oh yeah, this is a thing, apparently. I got hit, but that's not really a big deal because I still had two hits. It would have sucked otherwise, though. You're friendly. And I can make it up this, so I'm good. Well, that was a bit of a puzzle, but it's still doable, thankfully, thanks to being able to throw booze and get a jump boost from it. That's pretty nice. Uh, uh, Toad, goodbye. <laughs> Princess cliche. Mushroom Castle. Are there any one-ups in here? Because I could really use some of those. This is kind of random because it's just a town level in the middle of everything, but hopefully there's some sort of one-up. Oh, it's a star in here. Arguably, I should have searched more for one-ups, but whatever. Maybe I'll just get two more uh, Yoshi's House and other thing. At least this just is, seems like an average Invasion 2 level. So hopefully, as long as I don't mess up, 
Dang it, I was really hoping for a power up there. Oh, I can't hit that guy. Well, at least this gives me an extra hit. Can I still fly? No. Okay. I can't do anything, any of my normal shenanigans as long as I'm inside this boot. What happens if I get in the... It just kind of floats there. And then it teleports to me after I, uh... So, get in the boot? Yeah, now I can throw it. <laughs> well, that's kind of random, but... Bounce up here. By jumping out, I can make it over to the ledge and save the boot, but not that it really matters, because I don't need... Because I didn't really need to get over to that ledge for any reason, but oh well. Midpoint. I worked so hard to get that midpoint. Yes, a free life that I don't think I can actually get. Maybe with some shenanigans. Oh, maybe if I fly over from that platform, considering I've got so much horizontal distance. Let's try that. <laughs> Who needs your yellow switch block thing? I can just fly my way over using Klonoa powers. Which I'm clearly misnaming because I don't know anything. Ah, it's actually weirdly hard to get out of the boot without actually just jumping straight back into the boot. I don't think I can hit you guys, can I? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Normally you could just spin jump down there. I'm curious about whether throwing this thing hits those blocks. No, it doesn't. Not that it really matters, because I need like four of them, and I only had one. But just for future puzzle solving and deathers, it could be useful to know stuff like that. Ha! <laughs> Use that trick from before to murder the bonsai bill. Perfect. That's actually an interesting gameplay mechanic, although it's a bit janky, so I can... Well, uh, I guess I'm going to have to say goodbye to the good old boot. I might need to jump up there, though. Oh, dang it. Wait. <laughs> it's weird how the coins are just, like, flying into the sky like that. Is that what happens in Klonoa's game, or... I don't know. Yeah use that special power to do the same thing anyone else can do just by grabbing it. Poink? Poink. Eh, that's neat. One more, probably. Oh, shoot. That's an enemy spawning pipe. Well, I totally misread that situation. Yeah, darn it. Okay, as long as I'm not holding the run button when I jump out of the boot, it I can jump out of the boot a little bit easier. Oh, cool, I can throw the boot at the wall, too. <laughs> well, I guess this probably wasn't a gameplay mechanic intended by the level author, but... I can grab fire, so that's no problem. Die, die. Uh, I missed the one that's actually important to kill. Wow, I was at 1 HP that entire time, but it really didn't matter because I had the boot. And now I'll be able to carry that boot and throw it whenever I jump out. What would happen if I jump out while I'm not holding that button? Okay, so yeah. Dang it. Throw this back and forth because it's way faster. Whoa, dang it. Let's continue my double booting shenanigans. Yeah, that's that, that feels kind of weird to me, but no big deal. <laughs> well, at least I got revenge on him. Die, random thing. Wow, there sure are a lot of these things. 
Thank goodness I can break these things faster than I would be able to normally. I probably don't even need to break that one, but okay. Let's do it anyway. Oh, I can't just throw it downwards. Well, I guess without doing the jump thing. Well, I guess I'm not bringing that thing any farther. Oh, disco shell. Goodbye. If I hold the button as I come out of the pipe or jump out of the boot, it throws the thing immediately, but if I don't hold the Y button when I'm doing that, she still continues to hold it. Of course, then I can't run, so it doesn't do me much good. Well, that's 5 out of 5. It was scary there for a moment. Yeah, I think Klonoa plays super well, actually. Probably one of my favorites of the new characters. De she can definitely compete with, in terms of movement and in terms of uh, power, so one of the most well-rounded, to be honest.